Okay. If you're, uh, if you're going to be in Colorado Springs, August 16th and 17th, you ought to drop in and catch Rich Hall. He's a very funny guy. Would you welcome Rich Hall? Rich. fun you're having that's you know they never ever came up with an accurate measurement for fun did they no. barrel of monkeys that's actually the closest they've ever come to measuring fun you know? we saw the monkeys out here they were fun they'd have wheeled them out in a barrel though you know you people would be bouncing off the walls but apparently they have made a big breakthrough recently in the measurement of fun see that there's a snickers bar what's it say fun size, fun size. <laughs> A lot smaller than we thought it was going to be, isn't it? We were really expecting a big blimp-sized thing to come down, but that's the size of fun right there. That's it. If you have one at home, you may want to examine it. This is the size of fun. I guess the regular size stickers is just unbridled ecstasy. And that one in the movie theater, that $8 snicker bar, that's just beyond description, isn't it? That's just, just a donkey ride to heaven right there, but that is the size of fun. So, have fun. That's important. So, what's going on in Rich's world? Well, let's see. I was reading this uh, USA article a couple days ago. Apparently, we got a bill for the war. I don't know if you read this. Five billion dollars? How do they come up with that price? Five billion. Like a lot of countries just sitting around a table going, who ordered this? Is this, is this, is this look right to you? This doesn't look right. Stud steaks, Patriot salad, parade, 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 parade. Where's the Sodom on a stick? We didn't even get that. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the main course? Waitress, come here. No Sodom on a stick here. What's going on? So, uh, you know, we have a lot of parades for this war. What was it, 30 days, seven months parades, you know. It's pretty unpatriotic, but we beat Iraq. a little Mario brother are up and down the desert for 30 days and we celebrate for six months. So we've beaten Grenada, Panama, and Iraq now. Yeah! UNLV has a tougher schedule than that. Look, if it was only five billion, that's a bargain war, isn't it? That is a cheap five billion. I'll give you an example. The Hubble telescope was two billion. Should have dropped that on Baghdad when we had a chance, huh? Boy, what a piece of crap Radio Shack clearance item that is floating around in the sky up there. It is... Oh, the mirrors don't work. Sorry. Of course the mirrors don't work. They hired General Motors to build it. General Motors could make a decent mirror. They wouldn't have to write. Objects may be closer than they appear. At this point in American manufacturing, I think the most honest product on the market is probably uh, milk duds because, uh, you know, they're willing to admit they screwed up, basically. <laughs> well, they're duds. They didn't work out. The snack confection program is a bust, you know, and sometimes you get those squiggly little duds that don't even work. You get faulty duds. <laughs> How bad can one person mess up? You can't even get a dud right. Damn. So, uh, Supreme Court is getting kind of cranky lately, aren't they? Don't say this. Don't do that. Don't do this. No, no new tabletop dancing. Don't do that. Don't burn the flag. Uh, those people in Taiwan worked very hard to make those flags. Don't burn them. Thank you very much. <laughs> so they passed this law about a month ago. It's now legal for police to board a Greyhound bus to look for drug dealers. <laughs> You're a drug dealer who has to take Greyhound. You don't have the executive skills needed to be a drug dealer. <laughs> they're going after the Hooter bill to Pixley drug connection, I think. That's what they're trying to get rid of there. A lot of weird laws in this country. Little regulations, safety standards. I was walking through Ralph's the other day, which is a supermarket out here, in, uh, and probably the worst name for a supermarket ever. <laughs> Ralph's, no matter how hungry you are. Ralph's! <laughs> do the meat department there and they're wearing hard hats, you know? What could possibly happen in the meat department? What kind of industrial meat accidents are actually going on 
at Ralph's. People just chopping at me. Gressel, duh! <laughs> See the size of that incoming porterhouse? I could have been hurt. <laughs> Ride a motorcycle in California, you don't need a helmet, but apparently to handle a veal cutlet at Ralph's, <laughs> you need some kind of protection on your head. Don't make any sense to me. What a goofy things that make no sense. You ever just wander through the laundromat? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Rich, we're, we're that's the kind of losers we are, Rich. We had, just like, you know, and the, they got that change machine there, you know, because there's nothing else to do, so you go look at the change machine for a while, you know, look at that bulletin board for a while. Fill dirt! You know, but that's all there is to that, you know, so you walk over here, look at that change machine, you put in a dollar, you get back a dollar and change. Don't you feel sorry for the guy who invented that? He must be walking around thinking, I've been in this business 27 years, man. I'm not making one dime out of this game. being at a comedy show after all. A little yeah. late night, but we made it. <laughs> uh, You're in a dressing room with a taper. I got like <laughs> taper hair. In you have Too moved many. from Los Angeles. Used to be a, Los a citizen. Oh, yeah, I moved out. I was, uh, I lost my license for a while. I got some speeding tickets and I had oh. to take, you know, you don't want to take the RTD bus around here for a while. <laughs> little head sticking out the window and Rick D's 40-foot head on the outside of the bus there. It's like this little pimple on Rick D's head there, you know, so that's embarrassing enough. <laughs> so my question, do you, when you have to get your driver's license yeah. renewed, do you have to go to the DMV? Yeah. You have to stand, because yes. I didn't see anybody there that, you know, you'd think in the, the human to celebrity ratio in this town, you'd see at least somebody there at the DMV. David well, they, Hasselhoff they look or something. They're kind of yeah. sneaky off. I David Hasselhoff? <laughs> Anyone, you know? <laughs> It, there's like 4,000 people down there, 18 hours of line standing, and you know, there's cargo planes going overhead dropping leaflets of information to these like <laughs> people, from con people from continents that haven't even been formed yet are standing in line there. You know. <laughs> I know, move here, go there, go there, stand over there for some guy with aquarium gravel. I have aquarium gravel, I have to have my license. Said, no, that's aquarium gravel. You can need the papers. I have aquarium gravel. <laughs> the sign says aquarium gravel. You know, no, that's the eye chart. I don't know what it says in your country. <laughs> And then you go over to this line, and then they send you, right, your license, right. and you get that picture. <laughs> Just that license on your that picture. Because, you know. Everybody looks that way. Yeah, well, they're taking your picture, you know, and they're asking you questions like, hey, you want to give us all your organs during a grizzly accident? <laughs> <laughs> your donor card. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, there I am, giving away my organs to science, <laughs> reserved for posterity. It's good so, to see you again. Well, thanks. I'll see it's you on the, uh, the, uh, with the Onion, the Onish, uh, on the yeah, Comedy Channel. Comedy Channel at the uh, Exxon Valdez Comedy Club tomorrow night in Colorado Springs. <laughs> <laughs> They've refurbished the boat. It's a lot of fun. Good to see you again. I thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank you. Dennis, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you, sir. Good night. I hope you come back. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.